Hello and welcome to another quick photography tip. Today we're going to talk about the adjustment brush tool in Adobe Lightroom. That tool is located in the develop tab and then it's this brush looking tool right here on the right. So first uh, before we start using that tool we'll, we will make some small adjustments to the base image. This is an image I took as the sun was pretty much almost all the way set in Alaska. So there's not a lot of light and as you can see it was pretty blue light that was available. So we'll go ahead and warm that up a little bit. And then we'll add some clarity. We'll help make those clouds pop out a little bit. Maybe a little bit of vibrance. And that's about it. Every other adjustment I'm going to make to this image will use the adjustment brush. So I'll go ahead and click on that and you'll see that that brings down a new menu here that looks almost like the standard menu. You have temperature, tint, exposure, contrast, all these options that you have typically. Only with this tool you'll be able to paint uh, these settings only where you want them. So I'll show you how that can be uh, quite powerful. First to reset the brush you can just double click this effect and that will put all the settings back down to zero. And we're going to start by uh, lightening up parts of this image, specifically the plane, because it's pretty dark. So I'm just going to choose exposure here and bring it to the right just a touch. And then you can see as we start painting, those parts of the image will lighten up. So I'm going to go ahead and increase exposure a little bit more. And you can see, if you check the show selected mask overlay, that's place where we've painted uh, a brighter exposure. So shut that off. We'll continue to paint here and lighten parts of the image that we all want lightened. You can change the size of the brush. The left and right bracket keys on your keyboard are the shortcut for increasing or decreasing the size of that brush. So as you need to, you can increase, decrease the size. I'm just going to paint over this plane and lighten up the areas I want lightened. And maybe on the dock here too a little bit. And we can play with this after we've painted just by moving the slider. So I'm going to put it about right there. And that looks pretty good. And then we can clean up some of those areas that we don't want as light by either continuing to blend and lighten. Or As I sh will show you here, I want to bring some contrast in that, into that sky even more. So we'll go ahead and click this new button and that will create a new brush, a new mask for us so that we can change the exposure without changing what we've already painted. And then I'm going to move it over here and we'll decrease the exposure. So make these areas darker. And I'm just going to bring these clouds down. in exposure just a touch. And you can see how that adds some drama back into the sky here even more than there already was in the original. If you get something painted too dark that you don't like, you just go ahead, create a new brush, and you can go ahead and repaint over those areas. You can go ahead and lighten some of these areas in the clouds if we want.
and you can see how scaling that will influence the picture. All right, well, that's about it for this tutorial, but you can see that this brush is pretty powerful. You can choose uh, any of these settings here in the adjustment brush settings to paint uh, those settings onto your image. If you wanted part of the image to have more clarity or maybe more saturation or less saturation, you could just use this brush and paint those areas in. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check out camerastupid.com for the latest in photography tips, tricks, and information. Thanks, have a good one.